this video, we're going to spline our greens and our fairways. Uh, we're doing those together because they are somewhat related um, because a lot of times your fairways kind of connect into your greens. Sometimes they don't. Uh, so let's talk about that. Uh, back at Inkscape, so we've got our bunkers and our tees done, okay, which you see here. And I've got things splined onto two holes. I've got my hole one, which is also the, the range, um, and also hole one also consists of hole nine. Okay, so this is hole nine. So I just went ahead and did that because they were close to each other. I put all those under hole one. And then I got hole two, which you can see I'm blinking up here. So I got my tee boxes for hole two. So let's look at the differences between these two. So on hole one, what I have here is I have a fairway, uh, and you can see it right here. Let me switch to, I have Google on, let's do Bing. Yeah, I think you'll be able to see it a little bit better in Bing. I got a fairway that is disconnected from my green. So you can see my fairway here. Okay, there's the top of the fairway. And my, whoops, you can see I didn't have my satellite locked. So that's what happens. Let me undo that and lock my satellite. Uh, you know, my top of my fairway here and my green, and they are separated. However, on hole two, which is a par three, my fairway is here and it rolls or, rolls or connects into my green. So there's gonna be two different techniques in use here. Let's do the easy one first, which is this one. And I am going to have a semi rough around my fairway. So let's do, actually, let's do the green first. I typically like to do the smaller shapes first. And so I'm gonna go over here to my Bezier tool and I am going to draw out my green. Now I am going, Oops, why? Oh, that's because I'm still on my satellite layer, which is locked. Make sure you have the correct hole, okay, highlighted when you're going to do this. So I am going to start tracing out my green. Now I'm doing it slightly on the inside of the coloring you see here because I'm going to add like a half meter semi rough around my green area. So I did that, I closed it out. And you can see this came in as rough, so I'm gonna switch this to green. You can see that my green has a 12 centimeter blend. So I change that. I'm gonna go quickly into node and take a look at this. And actually there's no doubles on this one. So this one looks pretty good. Okay, so no issues there. Now I'm gonna go back to my select tool. And remember what I said, I wanna do a semi around here. So our workflow before, control D, outset that. I'm gonna change this to a semi rough. I'm gonna come back over here, I'm gonna highlight it, page down. And now I have my green surrounded by a semi rough and it's not connected into my fairway. Now I could have made this actually out here fairway too, but when, when the ball lands on here, your physics will say semi and I, I kind of like that versus someone landing here and saying, well, why is there a fairway around here? But we'll see later on how that can be impacted. Now let's also do this fairway here. Oops, I zoomed out way too much here. Where'd I go? Here we go. So I got this fairway right here. So I'm gonna to go to my draw tool again. And I normally am gonna be a little bit more meticulous about this, but because you guys didn't come to see me draw shapes, you came to learn about drawing shapes, I am not going to put I would normally zoom in a lot closer here to draw these out. And then I'm gonna be very careful. And then I'm gonna zoom in here, go to node and just make sure I don't have any doubles, which I do not. And I also want to add, so this is actually looks like it ended up as, is this a fairway blend? Nope, now it's a fairway blend. So you always wanna make sure it's a fairway blend. Um, and that's a 12 centimeter blend as well. So it's fairway, 12 centimeters. Now I wanna add a semi around this. And let's say I wanna do my semi here, one meter. So I'm gonna do control D. So it copies that fairway, outset twice. And I'm going to, so I outset it twice, that makes it a meter because each outset is half a meter per my set my settings. And I'm going to change this to semi rough. I'm going to come up here to my pointer tool, my select tool, and I'm going to page down. And now you can see that I've got a semi around my fairway. 
So in this hole, my hole one, I've got my green set up. My green has a semi around it. I've got my fairway and my fairway has a semi around it as well. Now let's go to hole two. Now the first thing I'm going to do is before I draw drawing anything here, let me just uh, minimize hole one, make sure I have hole two highlighted. And the first thing I'm going to do here is I am going to highlight, when I say highlight, I'm going to trace out my green, which is right here. So let me just begin tracing. Done. And I am going to go to node select mode. Whoops. Node select mode. And you can see I got not a double node, but definitely something um, goofy going on here. I don't like those new two nodes being too close together. So I'm going to delete this one. And I'll take a look. That looks pretty good. And also what I'm going to do now is I'm going to go into my select. And I'm going to do my control D for duplicate. And I'm going to outset that once. And I'm going to change that to semi-rough. Ah, my other one underneath there is still green. So we're going to have to fix that in a second. So I got my semi-rough outset by one meter. And I'm going to bring it down. So I'm going to go page down. And you can see it went down, but I don't see my green. Well, why not? Well, because my green is actually set up as a semi. So these are the things you have to pay close attention to. Is that green? Now I change that to a green, and I so now I have my green surrounded by a semi. Now I've got my fairway here. And how are we going to do this? It ties into this. Um, so this is going to be interesting, right? How we do this? Well, here's my workflow. Let's trace out our fairway first. So I'm going to come over here to my tool and hold number two, and I'm going to trace out my fairway. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to bring this in right so it meets it like this, and I'm going to go underneath here. Actually, I'm going to, and what happens underneath here really isn't too important because it'll be hidden. But then I'm going to come back out over here. I don't like this. Let me back up. I'm going to control Z and I'm going to bring this up. And I like to bring it out so my lines are smooth. So I'm going to try to come out here. You can see at this same angle. The angle so I don't have any sharp exit points. I do that. So that's as a green, but I want to make this a fairway, right? So that's a fairway. And what I also want to do is I want to make sure that that fairway, let's, we're going to leave it on top for now so we can see what we're doing. I'm going to go select here. Got my fairway highlighted. Control D to copy it. Now I'm going to outset this twice, okay, for one meter, similar to what I did on the previous hole. And I'm in the select mode. I'm going to page down, page down, page down. Ah, that's because it's still set up as fairway. I could change this to semi. Let's see here. Semi. There we go. So now you can see my fairway and my semi, which is outset by a meter. Now, I'm not sure if I'm going to be a fan of this because um, it, it looks like it's it. I don't know. We'll see what this looks like. Hopefully you're going to see what I'm trying to do here. Now what I'm also going to do is I'm going to go back to my fairway here, page down until it's hidden by my green, but not too far because I don't want it under this other semi-rough here. Now if I go down more, see how that, my semi from the green is coming up through? I don't want that. So I'm going to page up. And this is ultimately kind of the look I'm going for, but not quite there yet. I have to do one more thing is I'm going to union, okay, the semi that I created around the fairway. I'm going to union that. I'm going to hold down shift and I click on the semi around the green. Oh, I didn't get it. I got the green. So I'm going to unselect here, go out a little further. There we go. So now I've got the two, the, right now they're two different shapes, okay? Got the semi around the fairway, semi around the green. I'm going to come up here to path. 
and I'm going to union. Now, before I do that, what you have to pay careful attention to here are your union points. What does that mean? Well, right here is where these two shapes are meeting and right here where these two shapes are meeting and it might cause some kinks or tight or tight corners, which are going to cause problems later on. So let me go up here to union. Now they are one shape. You can see if I turn those off, it's one shape now. It's one semi. But I got some funkiness right here, and I've got some funkiness right here. If I go into node select mode, I can zoom into those points, and I can do a couple different things. One is I could delete. I'm going to delete this one. So that smooths that out. Okay, makes it look much better. Now this one's definitely looks a little funky. So I'm going to maybe instead of doing that, I'm going to highlight this one, and I'm going to do auto round. Yeah, that's not what I'm looking for, is it? No, it is not. So what I'm going to do here, I'm going to zoom in here and let's see what happens when I just pull it out a little bit. And I can adjust that. And I can also do these uh, adjuster nodes right here. And this will help smooth it out a little bit. Let's see what that looks like. That looks a little bit, but that's still pretty sharp. So maybe I am going to have to round this. That rounded that. Now what I can do is I can pull this back out. That looks a little bit better. I'm also not a fan of this sharp corner here, so I could always go into this shape. And again, I could move this down. But now you can see what I'm getting into now is this is getting too thick here. And you're going to have to mess with this. Or just make your fairway semi half a meter and have it match whatever you're doing around your green. That's the easiest solution. Although this doesn't look too horribly bad at this point. I'm not sure if I'm if that looks great, looks better over here. Let's just zoom out and take a look. I'm getting very peculiar at this point. I would probably spend a little bit more time making that look a little bit better. Um, but you guys get the idea of what I'm trying to accomplish here now. So now you can see that this semi runs right around, okay? My fairway goes right up to my green. Some people will also run their fairway all the way around their green as well, and they'll have like a triple, so it'll be green, fairway, semi. Um, that's up to you, you can play with this. That's why I recommend doing it just a couple holes all the way through and maybe just experiment a little bit on what that ends up looking like later on. Because it's really hard to tell right now what that's gonna look like. Um, until you get into Unity and you start playing with stuff. So two examples here, standalone green, integrated green, and then uh, you guys can see how those got tied together. All right, remember, just a couple holes to start, nothing more.